It's the first time I've been to the West Coast proper. I mean, even M proper, I haven't been here, so yeah. I think we're just tired of traveling. Is that what it is? We've been talking, we think it's the weather. We're tired of driving cloudy. and being uncomfortable. It's like just a little bit too cold. I mean, we've been like cold and uncomfortable. Tired of uncomfortable since you know, Michigan. Like we've, yeah. we've only had a couple days of nice weather, and no, no traveling days really. Like when we get into town, like we don't ever, we don't relax. We just abuse our bodies. Yeah. So maybe we should, you know, go to a city and not drink. Well, like do be tourists. Not like sex tourists. Like gay sex tourism. The immediate well, we vicinity do, of yeah. Seattle. Yeah. Like we do our best to avoid them unless like we have to get somewhere or something. Right. Yeah. That's what we do too. That's kind of our deal as well, for sure. Well, I mean, through to get, you need to look at their bikes. Yeah. We had our friends like paint some decal They're decals awesome. on them in Seattle. Well, it is the more aggressive rider. So the joke of it is that I do not belong. <laughs> Well, he's got like dual disc up front, disc in the rear. I've got like, you know, one up front and a yeah. drum in the rear. Me too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. So, how much more of a charge do you have on there? Uh, 43%. Okay. And uh, why is that a problem? Because I cannot for the life of me keep up with a phone charger. How many phone chargers have you lost in this trip so uh, far? Uh, this will be the third. Yes. If I buy one. It is the third. I, I knew the answer. I just wanted you I've to say it. Two. This, I'll be on my third. I just didn't have a phone. Oh, no. All right. I guess technically I did leave a cable for the first one. But then I lost the phone, so that doesn't count. I, we still have that charger. This, I mean, maybe it doesn't count, like, you know, in the count of phone chargers lost, but, like, you I know. I mean, which is what we're talking about. Well, it just. How I, many phone I was really. You can't play semantics on this. Like how many like how many phone chargers? No, I mean I definitely just go through everything that I've lost. Like, well, you've lost this, this, and this. Like, well, yeah, that's we're exactly not talking about phone chargers anymore, are we? No, no, we're not. How many tents have you destroyed? Several. One. Really glad you found my you know twenty dollar tire spoon, you dick. I don't you fuck yourself. <laughs> you're, you're fucking crazy. Well, as long as he doesn't like you know lose the cameras. I'm just glad our you know cameras weren't in the tent. You know, the one that you. In Washington. Mm -hmm. That I dropped, yeah. I threw it off. I, I wanted to destroy it. That's what happened. All right, any idea where we are? Well, we pulled off Highway 101, and there's this, there was a uh, like a barrier that was keeping us from this little road. So we pulled off to investigate, and we could fit our bikes around it. And we drove to the other end, and there's another barrier. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's just a little stretch of abandoned road, but, you know. It's got a crumbling highway. Yeah, people have obviously been out here before. We've got, you know, charcoal. A fire pit. I'm trying to convince George that I want to make a fire. I'm uncertain because California spends, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars every year fighting uncontrollable forest fires, and I'm convinced that they would look really, really poorly on a fire in an uncontrolled area with no practical means to put it out if it gets out of control. Our likelihood of getting raped, shot, or robbed, or, you know, approached by the authorities is very low. So those are all... Yeah, very low, but reasonably low. Well, from what we can tell. Reasonably. You know, unless we do something to draw attention to ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Like, you well, know, like start fire. sort of fire. What you got there, buddy? You know, it occurred to me that they're actually the ramen noodles we're pouring in here we've had since the Outer Banks. Yeah. yeah. Mm, more gruel. It's just like some this actually looks up, really delicious. Crushed up ramen. Those delicious peppers. Yeah. Look at these fucking peppers. Look at these peppers. Just dumping it in there. We need the extra water. My, uh, I'll document a felony. <laughs> now I'll document my, uh, my fire, which is not really taking, but... 
I don't feel terrible about it. George is sort of scared, scared me a little bit with all this talk of, you know. I mean, you know, I think I probably just have, like, you know, a lot more experience with fires in the woods and, you know, living in the West and, you know, stuff like that. Something about living in the West. Remember there being huge fines for throwing, like, a cigarette butt out the window and always hearing about wildfires destroying billions of dollars of property and costing millions to fight, so I'm under the impression they don't fuck around with fires out here. Of course, I'm aware of the irony that I'm using a stove.